it was not a bad thing. People didn't take themselves that seriously at that point in time. So when you look in the mirror now, who do you see? Who is Clint Eastwood now to you? Who, how would you describe who you are now as a person? Are you the same person that you've always been? Have you changed a lot? <laughs> I don't know. I don't look at him. He's a, a different, uh, he's somebody else. Well, uh, that's all right. <laughs> uh, I'm in, in the, inward looking outward. I'm not looking back inward. So when you see Scott now, your son, he looks so much like you. Is it weird to look at him now and you're thinking when you started out and you see him and he looks kind of almost exactly like you did? Well, um, he's uh, doing well. He's got a few projects and uh, he's getting some kind of activity and I hope he has as much luck and fun doing it as I did at that stage and, uh, and still having at this age. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Making movies, do you enjoy it more now? or? I do. I enjoy it. Uh, that, as much, um, I, I couldn't calculate that, but I, I enjoy it because it's, it seems easier now. It's because, you know, get an idea and you, and you kind of go with it. As you're, when you're a younger person, you wonder, am I doing the right thing? What is this, what is that? And, this way, if I'm doing the wrong thing, it's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't care that much now. Do no, you care just, less you now, know, you just, think? You kind of go with this, go with your instincts. You rely more on your instincts as you, uh, as you go along. At least I have. Because you've always been like very open-minded of, of speaking your, your truth. You're not afraid to speak out what you believe in and what you think. Have you always been like that or has that changed with age, you think, a little bit that you don't? I can't, I can't tell. It might have. It probably has. Deep down in my heart, I always wanted to be a cowboy. I read somewhere where I heard an interview with you who said that being politically correct is ruining the entertainment industry or something like that. I don't know if I said that, but I said something probably similar. I think it's, it's I think it's a, uh, I think it's it's dull. It's you know nobody's enjoying. It. I grew up in a neighborhood with lots of different types of people, a lot of different nationalities, a lot of, di and uh, along the way because I moved a lot. I was born in the, the depression, and so I moved a lot and I knew a lot of people and I always was enjoyed the differences, and I think if people enjoy the the differences in everybody, then they uh, are willing to, you know, to get, to have fun with it. Go ahead, make my day. I guess we used to have fun with it. We'd insult each other and laugh and scratch with it. And it was, um, it was, it was not a bad thing. People didn't take themselves that seriously at that point in time. I think maybe it's because of the Depression and then World War II coming along and everything. Everybody uh, didn't, had, didn't have time to <clears throat> look inward and start getting all kinds of phony ideas. A big orchestra, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about these hero stories that attracts you as a director and as a person in, in general? Why do you want to tell these stories of the real heroes? I don't know. They just came that way. It's, there, there was no plan. I'd like to say it's a big plan and I had a big vision and I, I can give you a lot of B, BS about it, but it, it really, uh, there's an, there was no plan. They just came that way. Somebody called me one day and said, would you like to do American Sniper? Then uh, Sully came to the office as a screenplay. And, uh, and I remember the, the visual of looking out and seeing everybody standing on the wings and everything, and it told such a great picture. So, so I started right on. It's just, it's like the, they just came, it was destined to be. So you said you, you didn't really plan. Did you, are you a person that doesn't plan that much? Have you never planned much in your life? No. Like you're just going with the flow? and I kind of go with the flow. I mean, I plan things at times, but I, I also am open to uh, things that come along. Hi there, thanks for
for watching my interview. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, comment below if you have anything you want to share with me or with other people here on YouTube. And I hope I see you again soon. Bye, take care.